I thought the season went pretty well. I was happy with my season. It was a really big improvement from my last year for high school. So I was I was pretty happy with that. Uh, what does that mean to you to be selected uh, as uh, one of the three participants from both the men's team and the women's team? Uh, it, it meant a lot because I, I work really hard and I put in a lot of miles over the over the uh, the summer. So I like I felt like my hard work was paying off. Which is good. Our team, like I think we worked together pretty well all season. Julie really made us like focus on the start, to not take it out too hard. That was something that she really pushed was to take your start out really easy, and then you can catch up because that. That like especially the bigger races, the crazy people are just going to go out front, and you need to hold back and run, run your own race. That was sure. a great experience. Um, I saw my old teammate that I used to run with in high school. He was there, so it was kind of interesting, you know, running again in college league. Uh, it was, so it was a big, big meet, um, like 300 plus runners. So it's a great experience just running with all of them. Right. Thoughts on the competition? Sure. Obviously, some of the best runners in the region, all of the best runners in the region. Yeah. Uh, this is where they show their stuff. What did you think of the competition that you were oh, up against? The competition was tough, but I'm glad I ran there. Uh, it just makes me want to work harder for next year and get there and get with them. And then speaking of next year, what are some things that uh, that you want to work on, try to carry over from your successes this year, bring with you toward the next season? I definitely want to um, do a lot better. I want to get my time low. I definitely want to... Um, I want to try to get first for the NEAC championship. That would be really fun. So I want to at least get top seven before I graduate here. So um, I'm really happy with how regionals went. Um, it was a really wonderful experience. Um, I'm really happy with how everyone did. Our entire team, the three of us that went, did really well. I'm really happy with it. Last year was a, just this. Last year was a learning experience. Um, I definitely got a little bit too caught up at the beginning of regionals last year. It was really overwhelming with all sorts of runners who are on their way to nationals, but this year I focus on the smart start and then after that first one I'll reel them in. So I think this year as a team we were really successful because we really had that strong middle. I think that's something it's so important for cross country teams and I know that Julie's been working so hard on and we really had just that strong pack that it was five girls all right next to each other in those races and it really made a difference for us and both the men too. Um, and then Northeastern Athletic Conference Runner of the Year for the second year in a row, placing first at the NIAC competitions uh, this year and last year. Uh, what does that designation mean to you that you were able to uh, place first amongst your peers in the conference? It really, it means a lot to me. It, I can't even describe what it means. It shows, I mean, all summer, you've been working so hard. It's, it's just nice that your accomplishments really do pay off. <laughs> Going into next season, we're, again, we're trying to focus on that middle, but we're still trying to pull a couple more up, moving our middle up, and then bringing some of the other ones up even further. So it's just about building off of this year and continuing on and getting everyone stronger and faster. The regional championships, it's always exciting to watch because this year especially was the largest regional championships they've had. Um, there was almost 300 runners in each race, so to watch um, Wells runners step up to the line for only the second time now on that starting line is really special. Sure, and then your team overall had, had a fantastic, uh, I don't know if you call it a regular season, but yeah. uh, they, they really had excellent performances, record-setting performances as a whole throughout the season. Yeah, it was the largest team we've ever had, which makes a huge difference just in daily practices, pushing each other. And uh, the woman um, placed third again at NEACs, but had a much better score um, than the year before. So that shows um, the improvement right there. And the men moved up one spot, and we maintained our four um, all-conference runners. So it was a great season. And then talk to us just a little bit about your individual runners who you sent to, uh, to NCAAs. Obviously, lots of talent there. Lots of talent for the future as well. Yeah, two freshmen, Stephen Armstrong and um, Katie Lamana, went and had a really good time um, to race against those kind of runners. They were prepared after the pre-regional, made a big difference for them to expect that large race and the, that caliber of runner. So they really had a good, good race. And Emily had a huge improvement in her placement at regionals this year, so it was great. And then next year, going forward, like we just mentioned, very young squad of runners, very deep squad of runners. What are you looking forward to next season? Well, we're losing a bunch, so I'm hoping to uh, gain some more additional runners. And uh, just watching them improve every year is huge. Sometimes they just surprise me in the improvements they make in just the few months that we're running together. So I hope that continues and the team scores continue to move up.